yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win, yeah. LABB, who we running with, yeah. Two, two, three, three, I'm on ten again, yeah. State your name, big, big dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping and bass, slab on everything. Uh -huh. Ay, coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. All right, boys. So this is my second time doing this intro because when I was recording this before, my computer just had a brain fart and just restarted itself out of nowhere. But the time is now, man. Put up or shut up. Saturday showdown. Old Rich and the number two Tigers are looking at uh, looking ahead to their SEC matchup versus LSU. Let's get it, man. First things first. Let's go over here. Take a look at the college football landscape. You know what I mean? And how everything is shaping up. BCS rankings. We're number two behind Bama, who's number one, of course. Of course, leading into our game, they got a, a cupcake game against uh, uh, San Diego State University. You know, we got LSU. Look at the coaches poll. We got 21 votes for first place. Media bowl, media poll, we got 22 votes for first place. So they're not completely, you know what I'm saying, unanimously the number one team in the nation. Heisman watch list. Of course, O'Rich is the top of that thing. Followed by Najee Harris, Sean, Sean Tyler, James Blackman, and whoever the quarterback is for Fresno State. You know what I'm saying? They're coming down here to awards finalists. Something very, very surprising to me. You know, not this part. Oh, Rich is number one, you know, in the Maxwell. Number one for the Walter Camp. But for the O'Brien, he was like number four or five last time I looked. I didn't show you guys. But now he's all the way up to number two. But the thing that's probably going to hold him back from winning is... James Blackman has 33 touchdowns to three picks, 3,000 yards. There's no way Old Rich is going to be able to top that. You know what I'm saying? He's he's on pace to have a better season than what he had last year passing the ball, still at a 70% 70 70 completion percentage. And on the ground, he's on pace to do even better, or if not the same thing. But we really want to get those 10 more touchdowns to get 30 touchdowns in the season. We fell short last year by one. But you know what I mean? First things first, we want to come out here and get this W versus LSU. Now, Kirk's rolling with them. Even though we're the better team on paper, we got them beating everything except for pass defense because we got them in turnover differential because we're plus six, they're a negative seven. It's nothing else left to be said, man. You know what I mean? Uh, Brennan is their quarterback, 16 touchdowns to 13 picks. Davis is their running back, almost 1,000 yards, eight touchdowns. And Jefferson, 422 yards, 33 receptions, four yard, I mean, four touchdowns. You already know who our offensive leaders are. I see you guys out there on the field. So one thing that didn't change in take two you know what I'm saying? It's still raining heavy, but we out here. We ready to come out here, you know what I'm saying, and just do it up. We got to put points on the board as we hand it off to Joyner. Looks like Whitlow is hurt. I don't. I'm, I, I didn't. I wasn't aware he got hurt last game. All right, second and three. Let's get it. Boom. Come back to the ball. Come on, Seth. Make somebody miss. Ah, first down. Keep them chains moving. Now we're going with the bread and butter play to Veer. This time we're going with the jet sweep version of it. Boom. Oh, wow. Way to recover him. We made the right read. They just, they just, they're the fast. Oh, Rich has been throwing the ball well lately. Wow, how does he get out of that? Like, what other quarterback in the nation do you know that can do that? What other quarterback in the nation do you know that can get out of that situation, man? Come on, baby. Wow, wow. I really had nowhere to go with the ball. I was like, let me take off. Thought I was stuck. Get off me. Still up. Still had time to throw, but we're going to make something happen with our feet. All right, we go. Third and, third and 18. We got to try to pick this up. Damn, yo, like we have no nope. luckily. Oh, Shinker. All right, boys, here we go. Second and six. Coach is keeping the ball on the ground a lot this game, even though old Rich has been doing his thing in the air. Boom. I hate that. Get me out of that, that animation when I'm in the option. Let me let me wiggle, fam. Going forward on fourth right here. I'm not going to play with him. Got him. Hold on to nope. that. Geo. All right, third and six, fam. Let's get it. We need to pick up this first. Look at this. Almost every single play, there's somebody's in o, somebody in O Rich's face. We got some blockers up front. Boom. Let's get it, dog. We gotta put some points on the board, fam. Like it's no if, ands, or buts. One on one, make a play. Stupid. Ninety nine power, throw power. Ninety nine throw accuracy. We can't throw a, a better jump ball than that. Oh, yeah, he's got a stat. Wheels. Let's go, man. Anthony Swartz, the speedster, breaking tackles in the end zone. Let's go. Third and eight. 
You know what time it is. We're, we're 50 percent on third down conversions today. They got a spy, but we're gonna outthrow everybody. Anthony Swartz showing off the wheels, baby. Bang! Let's go, dog. Don't leave him one on one with no safety or nothing like that, baby. Way to give me some time. They actually left a spy in there instead of sending a bunch of people you see here. They only rushed about two, two or three, but just two actually. And we had all the time in the world to deliver that strike to Anthony Swartz. He just ran straight past the defense. All right, here we go, man. Third and two. We got to make something happen. I, we need more than three. And, of course, we're going with Devere. That's what coach calls. Oh, yeah, let's go. There we go, baby. And now I actually do remember. I think we did blow out LSU because one of the LSU runs is in the – um. One of our LSU runs is in the intro to, to, to the Old Rich series, man. So we got busy with them last year. Third and 12. Putting it in the air. Nobody's open. Come on, Rich. Get out my way. I should have been in the end zone and we're hurt. I wouldn't have got tackled if my teammate didn't hold me up there at the goal line, man. Hopefully we can punch it in right here, dog. We're going to see what, what, our, what, what Greenwood could do. Bo Nix transferred out, so he's not our backup anymore. They're probably going to hand it off to Joiner. No, it's a pass. Why are we passing? Why are we passing, coach? You don't do that with O Rich. All right, so we do get seven out of it. And defense makes a stop. 348 here. 2114 is your score. We had a little bit of back spasms. Yeah, you're back spasms, but you keep getting smacked every play. A little check down. Come on, Sadia. Positive yards, five to be exact. Halfway there. Third and eight, fellas. Another, another big third down for us. Look, man, we just got to do it ourselves sometimes. We just got to do it ourselves sometimes, man. Oh, Rich, you know what I mean? He said at the beginning of the season, anything other than a national championship is considered a failure, bro. Straight up and down. So if he got to run every play... He will, but this time he finds a receiver down the down the field. Eli Stove has been like his number one receiver here in his last few weeks of the season. He comes through with his first touchdown of the game. Let's eat, man. So we score again, and then LSU scores. So now we got to run out the clock properly. We got to get those timeouts with a minute 30 left. I wish we had Whitlow, but Joyner, you know, good three yards there. Put the ball in my hands, though, coach. We need to be running options, bro, not just regular handoffs. Whatever you say, coach. Oh, come on, Joiner. Get the corner. You got to give me that first, baby. So instead of trusting your Heisman winning quarterback to make a play, we're tossing the ball here to Joiner. I don't agree with it. We'll be getting the last time out. Give me the first. Cut it up now. Big boy run. Big boy run. All right, another hand off the Joiner here. Right up the middle. A lot of green. Let's go. All right, boys, so it wasn't an easy one. We were down 14-0 in this game. Old Rich dug in, dug deep, and made the plays necessary to get the W. And we are undefeated heading into next week's matchup against Bama. And, you know, the, the Old Rich vs. Tua Iron Bowl Part 2. Let's go. Old Rich, 8 for 14, 248 yards, 3 touchdowns, 115 on the ground, 2,500 XP. The real player of the game here today, 2 catches, 146 yards, 2 touchdowns. 24 yards a catch. I mean, 20. Yeah, what? The MVP of the game for me, man. Anthony Swartz, two catches, 146 yards, two touchdowns, 73 yards a catch. Eli Stove also had a decent game, two for 60 and uh, 30 yards a catch with two touchdowns. You know, these two receivers have been have been playing huge for us at this part of the season. All right, boys. Now is the moment you guys have all been waiting for. Next up. The undefeated Tigers and the, con the undefeated and confident Tigers travel to hostile Alabama. One versus two, rivalry game, Iron Bowl, classic matchup. Kirk's rolling with Bama. They're A pluses across the board. We're A plus, A plus, A. We blew Alabama out last year, but they got us beating everything except for rush offense and rush defense. They're plus 13 turnover differential, so we got to be careful. Oh, Rich is our leader. 21 touchdowns to 10 picks, 2,300 yards. 20 touchdowns on the ground. We didn't have any last game. 1,662 yards. Eli Stove is now our leading receiver. 27 catches, 671 yards, 8 touchdowns. And for Bama, 2 with 34 touchdowns to 3 picks, 2,900 yards. Najee Harris, almost 1,500 yards, 14 touchdowns. And Waddle, 491 yards, 46 receptions, and 11 TDs. You see our schedule? 
no blemishes. You see Bama's schedule, no blemishes. Only one of us can come out of here victorious. All right, boys, so we're starting off with The Rock here. Had a little false start to start off the game, but here we go. Jatarvius Whitlow is back for this game. Get up out of there. Get up out of there. Yes, sir. First play from scrimmage, baby. It's a big one. 35 yards. Let's get it, old Rich. All right, here we go, man. Let's get it. Let's score. First drive. All right. I guess we'll get up out of there. Don't fumble, please. All right, first and 10 again. Keep it on the ground here. Boom. Good read. Get up out of there or we get tripped up, but we do pick up the first. <sighs> for, all right. This drive's taking a little bit longer than I wanted it to. A little timer route. Make or miss, Eli. He continues to be huge for us. All right, for, first and goal. They want to go with this speed option. And they they stuff it. Oh, was Ulrich hurt there? He was. We do put points on the board. Tua takes his team back down and scores. All right, 7-7 seven, seven ball game. Third and six here. Make some miss, Eli. All right, it doesn't matter. You continue to pick up pick up big yards for us. All right, third and six. We need to pick up this first here. For some reason, Ulrich is supposedly rattled. I mean, he wouldn't, he wouldn't be rattled. Best quarterback in the nation is not going to be rattled over, over a little loud crowd here in, in Alabama. We're going to go for it on fourth, man. I don't, I don't, I don't believe y'all. Y'all ain't really about it. Boom. Pick up the first. 76 yards rushing here in the first half. Pretty close game, man. Not the blowout we had last year. Oh, yeah. They let him run straight past him. Come on, Eli. Bang, baby. Let's go. 45-yard touchdown pass. Let's get it. Two minutes left here in the first half. Got to do things on the ground. Ooh, uh, I told him to juke, but we got the first, baby. 91 yards. Ayabi Anoma has eight tackles already in the first half. He's getting after it against us, man. I see you, Swartz. Continue to be big, man. Continue to play big for us. Oh, I want to get out of this, but we're going to run it anyway. Oh, wow. Good blocks. Big blocks. First down. Let's go. You know what I mean? The, the end stayed home there, but we had an extra blocker go out there and take them out, baby. That's what I love to see. All right, first and goal here. It was a quarterback run all the way, and we're in the end zone. Let's go, baby. Come on now. If you want to go back and forth, we can do it. I'm here for it. Even right before half, you know what I'm saying, Tua gets, marches his team down, and they score. Let's go. We got 32 seconds and two timeouts. I see you, Schwartz. Wheels, get out. Get up out of there. Let's go. 45-yard pickup, man. Gotta love it, baby. I don't know if two in this office is gonna be able to keep up with what we do out here, man. Like we do this for real. Stupid. Oh, lob it. Lob it. I threw a bullet pass. Boneheaded. We were we were that's our first incompletion of the game, too. We were having an amazing game. Alright, so we threw that interception. Then they started off the second half scoring. And then we ran back a kick return. And then Najee Harris scored again. They that took up all the third quarter. So this is our first time touching the ball here in the third quarter as an offense. All right, here we go. 37 seconds left here in the quarter, like I said. Now we're the ones playing catch up because we, we threw that pick. Oh, no, it's triple really, coverage. Nigga? McKinney picks us off again. Wow. Two incompletions in this game, and they're both interceptions. Oh, wow. We had them a third and six. And they're about, they're about to score again. Third and inches, fourth and inches. All right, so we're down 10. We hold we held them to three. We held them to three. That's that's good. Two picks in this game, man. We were, we were having a great game, too. Here we go. Wow, get out of this. All right, second and 10. Don't like these routes. Nobody's open. We got to do it ourselves. Come on, Rich. Hold on to the right, baby. There we go. So third and four, and Coach opts to go with this option, man. I'd much rather put it in the air. But I'm just going to run. I'm just going to run what Coach says to run. Boom. Perfectly ran at that. Make that block. Wheels, oh, Rich. Do not get caught. 
He's so tired, bro. He will usually take that to the crib. 42 yard pickup, man. We're injured. This is not when we should be injured, bro. The backup comes up and gets the job done. We're down four. Third and inches. So they score a touchdown. And they're up three. Oh, we're still injured. But the backup comes in and wins the game for us. Wow. I did not expect O'Rich to be out for the rest of that game. But shout out to our backup coming through. Scoring for us when we were there. Defense made a stop. Then they, they got scored on again. You know what I mean? We, we we're going to take a look at it, dog. Because it was, was kind of hard to keep up with there in the Super Sim. I definitely thought we were going to have that last drive. But, you know what I'm saying? O'Rich is 2-0. Against Alabama and Tua here in the in the Iron Bowl, and we are moving on to the SEC Championship, baby. You see two over there crying on the bench. We still get player of the game. We threw two picks. You know what I mean? I just, uh, just we should have played better than that. Like we, we 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 started to play kind of poor, and our body just 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 doesn't hold up. Old Rich has had a lot of knickknack injuries here in his college career. He gets injured a lot because of his play style. So you see, final game stat six for ten, 132 yards. One passing touchdown, one rushing touchdown with 169 yards. So we got to go take a look at the game stats here and see what happened. First scoring summary. We know what happened in the third before we got hurt. You know what I mean? And we gave up three. Then Whitlow scored on that drive where, he, where we got hurt. Then Gatewood threw a touchdown pass to Gio Saria. Not sure how he lost three yards and threw a touchdown pass. Then we gave up a touchdown pass to Jalen Waddle. I think that's his name. And then Seth Williams scored the game-winning touchdown pass. And then we made a stop. You know what I mean? With 45 seconds left in the game. We scored 21 points in the fourth quarter. What a great game. Wish we could have really been a part of it. But next man up mentality you got to have out here. Joey Gatewood, 7 for 8, 96 yards and 3 touchdowns. And Ulrich's absence, 87 completion percentage. So things are going to be good, you know, moving on. Moving forward when Ulrich leaves. Uh, old Rich on the ground, 16 for 169 to touchdown. Whitlow, 7 for 24 in the touchdown. Receiving wise, he lost 5 for 104 in the touchdown. 3 for 36 in the touchdown for Gio Sadia. 2 for 10 with a touchdown for Whitlow and 1 for 21 in a touchdown for Seth Williams. He made the most out of his one catch. All right, boys, so we moved the week to the conference championship. And here you see it. We are number one in the nation finally. They stopped disrespecting us. Georgia gets a rematch against us here. You know what I mean? Because, unfortunately, you know, Bama's in the West with us, so we knocked them out. Georgia's the best team over there in the East. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the uh, standings here before we get out of here. So we're undefeated. Of course, Bama's 11-1. And then on the East, you know, Georgia just made it at 10-2. Florida's 9-3. And uh, Alabama is still number four in the nation. So they still have an outside shot of making the national uh, championship. If we were to lose to Georgia, I know Old Rich's body better hold up. We got one more game. We are one game away from the national championship. You see here, take a look at some of our goals. Old Rich is one, two touchdowns away from breaking the school record for rushing touchdowns in a career. He's uh, less than 100 yards. No, he's uh, 140, 140 yards away from breaking the school record for rushing touchdowns in a, rushing yards in a season. And he's, uh, you know, we're about, what's that? 600 yards away from... You know what I'm saying? A uh, school record for rushing yards in the career. We're probably not going to be here long enough for that because, you know, if O. Rich wins the national championship, I don't see why he would stay in school. But hopefully you guys are excited and looking forward to the SEC championship. If you are, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Yeah. I want to give a special shout out to our Heisman sponsor, Isaac Johnson. Yeah.